Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, welcome to our channel. My name is Mr. Hassan and the channel you're watching is Malimu Hassan channel. We are on the road to 10k subscribers. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel. In the laboratory, nitrogen is prepared by heating a solution containing equal amounts of ammonium chloride and sodium nitride. In this experiment, sodium nitrate reacts with ammonium chloride to form ammonium nitrate. This is an example of a double decomposition reaction. Ammonium nitrate is unstable and decomposes on heating, giving out nitrogen gas. Ammonium nitrate is very unstable and decomposes even at room temperature. For this reason, it cannot be stored. This explains why it has to be prepared fresh by reacting sodium nitrate and ammonium chloride. If dry nitrogen gas is required, it should be passed through a U-tube containing beads wetted with concentrated sulfuric acid and then collected in a syringe. Nitrogen prepared in this method is pure and free of noble gases. It is less dense than the one prepared by the removal of oxygen and carbon dioxide from air. Physically, nitrogen is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas. It's slightly less dense than air. It's slightly soluble in water. It has a boiling point of negative 196 degrees Celsius. It doesn't burn nor support combustion. It's a neutral gas with no effect on litmus paper. Some of the important uses of nitrogen are creating an inert atmosphere for chemical processes, the harbor process for the manufacture of ammonia, gas chromatography, packing oxidizable foods such as ground coffee, and also liquid nitrogen can be used for the freeze drying of foods and preservation of tissue samples. Chemically, nitrogen gas is highly inert under ordinary conditions of temperature and pressure. The inertness is due to the presence of a triple covalent bond between the two nitrogen atoms, forming a nitrogen molecule. The bond is very strong and requires a lot of energy to break. Nitrogen does, however, react with some substances under certain conditions. In air, Nitrogen and oxygen will combine when heated to a high temperature in the presence of a platinum catalyst to form nitrogen 2 oxide. This is a reversible reaction. The nitrogen 2 oxide is immediately oxidized further by more oxygen to nitrogen 4 oxide. Nitrogen 2 oxide is formed in the atmosphere during thunderstorms under the influence of heat produced by flashes of lightning. Nitrogen and hydrogen will combine when heated in the presence of an iron catalyst and high pressure to form ammonia. This reaction is used for the industrial manufacture of ammonia. Nitrogen will also react with highly reactive metals when heated to form metal nitrides. Examples of such metals are sodium, magnesium and calcium. In particular, magnesium burns brilliantly in a jar of nitrogen to give magnesium nitrate. The nitrates are easily hydrolyzed even by cold water, giving off ammonia and the metal hydroxide. Sulfur does not react with nitrogen even when heated. Oxides of Nitrogen Nitrogen forms the following common oxides. All these are gases at room temperature and pressure. 
nitrogen 1 oxide. Nitrogen 1 oxide is commonly called dinitrogen oxide or nitrous oxide. It is prepared by gently heating ammonium nitrate. The reaction is exothermic and may become explosive if heated strongly. As a precaution, heating is discontinued after about two-thirds of the solid has decomposed. The gas is collected over warm water in which it is only slightly soluble. The gas can also be prepared by heating a mixture of any ammonium salt and a nitrate that will yield ammonium nitrate, for example, ammonium sulfate and potassium nitrate. The ammonium nitrate decomposes, giving off nitrogen 1 oxide. This method is safer with less likelihood of explosion as compared to the use of ammonium nitrate as the starting material. Physically, nitrogen 1 oxide is a colorless gas with a faint sweet smell. It is fairly soluble in cold water but less soluble in hot water. And this explains why it is collected over warm water. An aqueous solution of the gas is neutral to litmus. It is about one and a half times denser than air. Chemically, burning metals, for example magnesium, and non-metals like sulfur and charcoal, continue to burn in the gas, forming the corresponding oxide and nitrogen gas. Nitrogen-1 oxide itself does not support combustion. However, at high temperature of about 600 degrees Celsius, it decomposes to oxygen and nitrogen, and it is the oxygen so formed that supports the combustion of various substances. The reaction between burning elements and nitrogen-1 oxide are oxidation-reduction reactions. Nitrogen-1 oxide is in this case the oxidizing agent. When inhaled, nitrogen-1 oxide has a mild anesthetic effect. Next, nitrogen-2 oxide. Nitrogen-2 oxide is also called nitrogen monoxide or nitric oxide. It is usually prepared by the action of moderately concentrated nitric acid on copper tannins. Effervescence is observed as nitric acid reacts with the copper tannins, forming nitrogen 2 oxide. Physically, nitrogen 2 oxide is a colorless gas. It is only slightly soluble in water, forming a neutral solution. Its smell is unknown since on exposure to air, it combines instantly with oxygen, producing brown fumes of nitrogen 4 oxide. Chemically, nitrogen 2 oxide does not burn nor support combustion. However, it decomposes to nitrogen and oxygen at temperatures above 1000 degrees centigrade. The oxygen so formed will support the combustion of burning substances. Therefore, nitrogen 2 oxide will support the combustion of fiercely burning substances like magnesium and phosphorus, which produce heat over 1000 degrees Celsius. These are oxidized to their corresponding oxides shown by the following equations. It will, however, extinguish a burning wooden splint and sulfur, both of which are not hot enough to cause its decomposition. Also, nitrogen 2 oxide oxidizes hot metals, for example copper and iron, to their oxides and is itself reduced to nitrogen. Again, Nitrogen 2 oxide is instantly oxidized by atmospheric oxygen to nitrogen 4 oxide. An interesting reaction occurs between nitrogen 2 oxide and iron 2 sulfate solution. Nitrogen 2 oxide dissolves in cold iron 2 sulfate solution to give a dark brown solution of nitrous or iron 2 sulfate. This reaction is used for detecting nitrogen 2 oxide. 
It is also the basis of the brown ring test for nitrates. If the nitrous ion 2 sulfate is heated, nitrogen 2 oxide is released.